don't need bigger knife. You're acting like unnecessarily pocket screws on a bolster there, Joe. Come on. <laughs> I don't know how to parse well, that. that. obscure note. <laughs> we have returned. Welcome back, everybody. We are going to be continuing our new 2021 peak sneak look at some new offerings that some new, well, not new companies, but some oh. companies have newly offered. Did you say peak sneak? I'm not Sneak. sure. I was trying to make that as convoluted as possible, so I, I might have got lost at some point. I'm pretty sure he said new three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like I said new as many times as I could. Just get like the Skyrim upgrade when your skill goes up. Speech 100. <laughs> it's fantastic. Okay, look at Kershaw. Like knowing how to start there. things off. Look at this Kershaw launch t-shirt. Yeah. Look at them go. New knife, new t-shirt. Who's mm. marketing for these other schmucks from the first video? <laughs> I tell ya. An automatic honestly, attraction. I, li That's I like the shirt. That's hilarious. That's much better than the ZT shirt. Jesus. Yeah. And they only kind of bit off uh, Benchmade for the eat, sleep, buy knives shirt. Or oh, the I final should've... water knives. I should have worn that knowing. Oh, well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Food, yeah. water, knives. <laughs> Yep. Buy it now for Paul. No. <laughs> You're going to have to deal with this all night. Oh, they're still all coming soon. You can get more gators, though, so we could just double up on the gators. There you go. Are, are we going to get demonetized for it, though, Paul? No, there's no nipples in the uh, <laughs> in the shot yet, so. Yet. <laughs> That's yes. what the third one <laughs> We're going to talk about Benchmade in the third episode. That's when the nipples yeah. start flying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those Pinocchio nipples. Um, does anyone care about the nacho? It's um, silly. It's it's a bottle opener, right? It's yeah, a, it's a bottle opener, seatbelt strap, cutter, rescue hook combo. I'll, I'll bring up I'll bring up a oh, picture. I'm angry about that. I thought it was just a bottle opener. I think it's got thumb jumping for all of your uh, seatbelt cutting needs. Does it have a seatbelt cutter? Or am I completely wrong on that? Where the hell would the? I think it's just a bottle can opener. Oh, that makes me even more angry, yeah. Then why go back to the first picture? I will, I'm just reading why the is description. There that, is that a screw, or is that the the maker's logo? It's just the maker That's logo. That's their in-house logo. Okay. Yeah, this is literally just a bottle opener. It's a bottle opener. That's well, it. That's, That's stupid. That's all it is. <laughs> why even go to the trouble of giving it, like, handles? It's got yeah. green G10. For oh no, it's not G10. It's, it's glass filled nylon. I was like, it's black FRN, man. It's uh, yeah. But hey, it's 0.3 right. ounces. So uh, next knife. <laughs> yeah. So well, before we get onto that, I only wanted to say, I know that like the bottle opener sort of thing has been popular because of all the scene stirs and the the um. Stirs. Yes, but like, at least make it something else. It's just a freaking bottle opener. That's so stupid. They missed the mm -hmm. chance to use it as one of those uh, grub yeah. hooks so you don't have to touch things directly. And they could put the thing that you just use to touch things directly into your pocket where you then have to touch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it just me or is grub hook a great name for a punk band? Actually, yeah. yeah I'd listen. I'm just saying. Send me an EP when you make one, Paul. That's nice. Uh, sure. The drivetrain. How about that? How about that? one of those things? Because yeah. Seatbelt cutter that goes a quarter of the way up and locks is kind of a cool idea. I don't know what it's going to feel like in person. Is that what that does? The weird thing to yeah. me is from the looks of it, it's like a lobster claw. So you're going to be pushing for yeah. the seatbelt cutter action rather than pulling. So you're not going to be able to get yeah. as much as much pressure evenly and nicely and not poke it into the guy. And it reminds me of the flipper um, on CRKT's rescue <laughs> version of an M16, yeah. where you're mm. kind of awkwardly holding a knife as you're trying to drag it through instead of like a ring or a proper. Yeah. yeah. Well, even the Benchmade safety hooks on their uh, triages and outlasts, those at least you're pulling the knife handle. Y y you know, it, it makes sense for how you're holding it. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, but for how how small this knife is, uh, I What's have the... my limitations. 
it's D2 at least, so they're giving you some decent blade steel. Uh, yeah. yeah, so 3.2 inches for the blade length. Closed length is 4.6. That's not unreasonable, but I, yeah. Yeah, no. Anyway, uh, it's... Next knife! <laughs> I'm jazzed about the next knife. The highball. Oh, yeah. The XL, which brings it up to a grand total of 3.3 inches for the blade. So it's 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 still pretty small. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah. You. I like I like uh, Justin's comment better. I really do. Grumbuck mm-hmm. is a country band. No, I don't like country though. Who only sings songs about fishing? <laughs> yeah, but it's <laughs> Grumbuck. Okay, so yeah. if if, anyway. they, if they only sing about fishing, I'm on board. Um. <laughs> Highball XL, you say? Uh, yeah. yeah. They they really changed this knife quite a bit. Like the profile on it, they added extra belly. They changed where the groove was. They added some blue. For me, it's a fat bladed crooked river kind of pot belly yeah yeah for sure yeah. with kvt bearings that actually do have a pretty good detent Ooh. on them as well yeah look, look mm. at that over travel stop yeah yeah it's with the blue and such i uh it's kind of nice i like the action on the standard highball so this one you're yeah I, I, I am actually, interested in it for I sure i saw this knife originally and i wasn't i was like oh i don't know if i'd like it a larger size, blah, blah, blah. And then I saw the video when they were playing with it. And I'm like, I think I definitely like a larger size. Like it's <laughs> pretty yeah. cool. The Spidey flick with that groove works really nicely. <laughs> yeah. It's, true story. it's a true story. Once again, D2 happy to see that being a recurring theme here. Yeah. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about the bead blast finish, to be honest. Um, I know they did the PVD coating that kind of had more of a glossy texture on the original. So I'm curious to see how this actually uh, looks and feels in, in person. Mm-hmm. I, I just like the darker tone of the PVD, I guess. That is fair. Next fair knife! Mm-hmm. What else we got here? The Turismo! Turismo. I, I'm kind of into it. <laughs> I don't know. It's these... not... These two knives might be my Joe picks of the Kershaw list. <laughs> and by that, I mean, I'll tell you which one I like more at the end. But yeah. Mm. Well, got to hold yeah. them first. Yeah. For me, it's this not, one just looks awkward. This one looks adorable. Overly, it's pretty cute. Just similar to a uh, Pilar or something along those lines. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be... Like, it's a 2.8-inch blade, so it's going to be a mini grip, that oh. kind of whatever size, I that believe. reminds yeah. me a lot of the uh, Echelon that Kershaw did a few years back. Oh, yeah. The uh, green G10, the JG10, with, like, the... It looked like a floating thumb stub, stud that couldn't move. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I see it. But this one has the little nubby flipper on the back, I but didn't... then they throw KVT and uh, assisted in it as well, yeah. so... I didn't. Dennis likes his nubby flipper. Oh, the nubbies. I like it. I like <laughs> the, it, the nubbies. I, I didn't oh, yeah. actually notice a nubby flipper until now. I honestly thought it was just like a finger flick or a, a thumb open on this guy. I didn't realize. I'm even oh, more they, excited for that. They uh, played off of the NORAD, and I, I don't know if that was the original one that had the nubby. I think so. But uh, they're throwing some nubbies in this year that I'm okay with. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. So, yeah, like as far as how you do a very subtle out of the way flipper, that's how you do it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a pretty good way to do it for yeah, sure. Skippy, you do. Mm-hmm. Next knife. Next uh, knife. This is the other Collateral. nubby flipper. <laughs> the old nubby flipper. So apparently these two knives, and I don't remember the actual original ones. I don't know if Joe can find a picture or not, but apparently the Turismo and the Collateral tried to come out a couple years ago and they had issues with both of those models. So now these are the re-released versions. I don't that's know. What, that's what the rep was spouting about. Okay. And so apparently there was original versions. If, I'd have to look at old catalogs. And I was going to say, if, if I knew a year, I could probably find pictures. But if I'm Googling it now, I'm probably just going to find the examples of the current production, right? You did not do a good job. <laughs> hey, if you're going to bring up a talking point, do your own research, damn it. There's three episodes that I'm going to bullshit about. I don't even know what my talking points are going to be until we get there. Like it's... Fair, fair. We need to uh, hire that Jamie fellow from uh, mm. Joe Rogan. We, could, we, can, yeah, we, can, we can't afford him. I was going to say, no. his rates are totally reasonable. And not in Texas. 
So onto the knife. Yeah. Indeed. This yeah. is the first one of the series that Kershaw has done this year that is pushing hard for that weird angular um, pivot accent. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They did that a lot this year. They did both with uh, over travel stops on things and yeah, yeah. They mm-hmm. definitely accented the crap out of pivots this year. Yeah. The backside of this yes. knife looks a little bare to me, but um, yeah. <laughs> She's she's a beefy bas- bastard though, like three and a half inch blade, four and a half inch handle. Like, yeah, I think it's going to be a bare knuckle almost kind of size. Mm-hmm. I don't dislike the look. Of it. I am curious about I'm the material. About that there. random bridge. The, the, the bridge on the back. Oh, yeah. I, I was just going to say, I'm curious to see uh, what it's actually made out of. If it's aluminum or if it's plastic. Uh, yeah. Custom backspacer. Okay, if they're calling it a custom backspacer, it's plastic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next knife. Next knife, indeed. Uh, the bracket, something to compete with Gerber's flat iron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they had that other one called the static, and it didn't cut it. So now they're going to have the bracket and bracket, didn't and they're going to do a, a pivot. Well, it's not going to stab it because it's got no tip. But, What's the deal with the gap on the lock bar side? On the lock bar? Oh, jeebus. Okay, so I've seen oh, a, yeah. I've seen a couple of their knives do stuff like this in the past, but not quite that pronounced. Oh yeah. Did oh, they yeah. screw they, up in their CNC machine? Like, a, no. <laughs> that, they just for yeah, legal. That's just awkward. Is, is it a button lock? No, it can't no. be. Right. Look at look at the nope, little tiny. No, nope, that's just the weird pivot accent that I was talking about. <laughs> so, it looks like it's some yeah. weird loot. Yeah. Look at look at the Kershaw uh, ember and the big, huge blade gap in that tiny little knife. And it's, it's not the thing. same sort of gap, but it doesn't have that like giant corner taken off at the front edge of the lock bar. I don't think so. No, I think you're right yeah. on that. But it's got a very large gap in it as well. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yes. Ben saying it looks like a humpback whale closed, and I see it. Yep. Yep. Oh, it does have that cutout on the ember too, but the clip is hiding yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Back to the knife we were talking about. Anyway. Oh, yeah. 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 Random. Hey, it's a comparison. ATR I, I like assisted. Error longer cleavers as opposed to the shorter, <laughs> taller cleavers. So. How, how long is the blade on this thing? 3.4? Yeah. Right. The one with the things. Well, I'm largely asking <laughs> myself these questions as well. <laughs> We're all a figment of Joe's imagination at this point. Yeah, true story. Yeah, that's that's how this works. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Aside from the funky pivot, not much else to say, I guess. G10 on one side. Yeah. That's nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it's a cleaver. It's a cleaver. The Taskmaster saw too. Do we want to talk about that? Yeah, it doesn't have grooves on the handle. Next knife. It's, it's <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It's saw. The end game. Okay. Way too. Uh, I, I, well, that's trying to do a lot of things, huh? Just too much, too much hype over this, put, and too much going on. <laughs> put that on a t-shirt. It's a little busy, although yeah. on a t-shirt with the bronze being the accents, yeah. Okay, so why like you, sh- you shut your face? That was being such a so, smart ass. I know. <laughs> I, I do like the the color choices for the accents, but I am going to have to point out that. They are plastic with a bronze coating. Okay, are they actually plastic or are they aluminum that have been anodized? No, they mentioned okay. it in the description. So they uh... do say it in the description, but in the um, video, they do actually say aluminum. Okay. So I okay. think there's some contrasts there. So it's, uh, probably, have... it's probably just poorly worded then in the yeah. description. Oh, and the other thing, and I just looked it up myself just to see if I was on crack or not, but if you look at the Kershaw Spleen. Spleen? uh, S-P-L-I-N-E. The blade shape is totally stolen. The end game is just, uh, yeah. Spleen? Spleen? I don't know. It's not an E-E. It's an I-E. Yeah, Spleen is two E's. (laughs) Okay, oh, I'm not getting a result. Even, But I clicked the link. What the hell? No, just Google this. But I clicked the link. They just <laughs> continued it and then re-released it oh, in a stretched out version called the Endgame. Oh. 
It's not exactly the same, but it has some similarities. Anyway, yeah. next next. But yeah, pivot <laughs> accents. <laughs> All about the pivot accents, for yeah. sure. The color is nice. Yeah. Um, okay, but in terms of color, okay, but the one it's... thing that bothers me is actually on the reverse side. There's almost no black. They could have made the pocket clip black, and then I would have been happy about the colors, but it, they... Yeah. You know, eh. I was going to say that I did like that they at least put the pivot accent, some sort of pivot accent on the back side as well. Yeah, that's nice. Can you imagine if they left it, like, totally bare? That would be so a, hideous. Is that a cutout on the right-hand pocket clip side that you can it put sure that is. bronzy thing? So can you put that bronzy thing from the left-hand side into the right-hand side? Uh, when you put the clip on? No, I'm not sure. it curves the other way, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, it would be machined the wrong way, like the pocket clip being curved sort oh, of yeah, issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, same idea. <laughs> anyway. Um... I feel like I had a bunch of toys in the 80s with that exact color. <laughs> yeah. Ninja Turtles and G.I. Joes and hey, at least Thundercats. It's, at least it's using D2. But it does kind of look like a little Transformers knife, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Next time. Next time. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the platform. Oh, my God. This is the knife. This is the knife that we're going to talk about. <laughs> Does uh, Dennis have any more thoughts? <laughs> you know what thoughts I have about this knife. Look at the backside of it, and you all have the same goddamn thoughts I do. Oh, this is the oh, one. Huh? This is the one. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize so, this was the one. Bam. Yeah, just like I think we it. all kind of <laughs> skipped over it in the catalog just because it seemed pretty bare and basic and nothing about it. Wait, go, go back to the original picture. It's such a, <laughs> it's such a decent looking knife. So, what's the <laughs> only one acceptable thing to use this knife for? Fishing? Yes. Yes. Be a great fishing knife with the nail clippers for snipping your line. Spoiler that's so yeah. alert. There's nail clippers. Yeah, yeah. If you guys hadn't count on, that's the weird thing that they put on the backside there is it is actually a pair of nail clippers and set they, into the handle. And, and is it just a nail? It's just a nail nick, too. It's a like a it's yeah. a pull. It's not yeah. a thumb, it's not a yeah. So and they, yeah, yeah. And they they have nothing in terms of pictures here. They've got the backside and the front side, and there's no picture of the nail clippers out, which to me would probably be one of the selling features if you were looking for it. They've been doing that for a while, and it's a slip joint. That's why it's a nail neck, is because this is probably really? a double D, double detent yep. that they don't want to call a double detent. Okay. <laughs> I like the uh, topographical yeah. map scale. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I like the way that looks. If you had uh, shown me the black poly scale plastic G10, whatever it is, and just showed me that knife. I'm like, yeah, that's not a bad little knife for European market, whatever type mm -hmm. of thing. And then you turn it over, and then you're like, oh, well, what, have yeah. you, what have you done? <laughs> yeah. And then... Who, who hurt you, Kershaw? Who hurt you? They want to talk about it not catching on your pocket when you pull it out. Well, that's because like, it has no pocket clip to catch. <laughs> but they're like the, the little, like index tab that you flick mm. up they're saying isn't going to catch on your pocket as you go to pull it out so it'll deploy the nail clipper like basically while it's still in your pocket I'm like time will tell you sons of bitches time will tell <laughs> yeah. like, it's... Look, they're tactical um, nail clippers I can't remember Emerson waving them off of yeah. the I can't remember right. I did a quick scan through of the description but doesn't it talk about how it's like a perfect purse knife uh, possibly. Because it, it has no pocket clip. Oh my yeah. god, it totally does. So, I just want to jump on the note of the subtle oh. sexism about pointing out that it's the perfect purse knife and it has knife. nail clippers in okay. it. <laughs> Women this, like this to is fish a really, too, you know? Well, okay, but okay, here's the thing. It's, <laughs> it actually is a super weird tonal shift here. They say, with no pocket clip, the platform can be thrown in a glove box, purse, or even a tackle box as a manicured lifesaver, as opposed to a fishing tool. Like, wh why would you go halfway in that direction? And then, but purses, again, like, yeah. it's, it's kind of weird. Just on a marketing yep. front, that's kind of weird. Um, yep. I love I love Jared's comment, by the way. Yeah, me too. I was going to say, imagine clipping your nails so short with a knife you can't open. Sorry, with this <laughs> knife you can't open it. That would be good. 
<laughs> Gold star, man. That's um, awesome. The, the plus side is is that uh, Kershaw is really known for their high spring tension on things, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. Like it's <laughs> next night. Yeah. Yarp. And it's not a purse. It's a brace. I'm stupidly excited about this knife. It's kind of cute. Uh, nice little neck knife for Paul to add to his collection. Um, because I, I need another one. Oh well, yeah. So, Made so it's a... small. It's smaller than it. It's not exactly the same as it. But as they were showing it off, this thing totally looks like Kershaw put a Benchmade Altitude on the market, and then gave it custom scales, just like the guys at Blade HQ have been mm-hmm. giving the custom altitudes lately. Mix it with an Azula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of the Azula going on for sure with the ring yep. on the back and the squareness and the whatever, right? But yeah. if you've seen yep, the Blade yep. HQ ones, they've put some G10 slabs and some Micarta slabs on either side. And instantly I was just like, that's kind of Kershaw is trying to get into a budget market of that look right now mm-hmm. is what it came off as, right? That front cutout is even kind of shaped like the little patch of carbon fiber. <laughs> On the altitude, yeah, yeah, uh, and apparently and it does that seem is like what... from oh. it does seem like from the picture of the sheath that it has some sort of cutout in the sheath that gives tension, yeah, and it looks definitely. like it locks into that little I was section very that, much that, so. That's what I was going to bring up, yeah. Which nice feature, sure, why not? Mm. Okay, the best feature about that is for lefties, it's totally ambidextrous. That sheath mm. does go in either way, but yeah, it does. the downside is it's a little bit loose because it goes both ways. Yeah, yeah, it it's is gonna rattle. Yeah, <laughs> it's got a little Viper Baru's drop point going on, and not Viper Baru sheep's foot. I wonder, <laughs> like <it's, laughs> I wonder if they're gonna pull a CRKT and have it so you can use the hole on the other end of the knife to stick it backwards into the sheath to extend the handle the i was slightly extension. curious on that yeah yeah but yeah i hope not, <laughs> I hope well, not. About that. no but i actually do dig this knife um i think it's a little steep for the price point it's uh, i think they're blade. slogging the eight cr train mm-hmm. a little too much um yeah. i was hoping this would be in d2 because i mean that would be a nice little knife to toss in the back pocket mm-hmm. in d2 there's a very good chance that i probably would have bought it as a neck knife but ha- having said that, CRKG is still getting away with 3CR and 5CR on some neck knives for the similar price point. Doesn't so, mean they yeah. should. Doesn't mean no, they should. Get away with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next yeah. knife? Next knife! Next knife. Next knife. Next. Oh, Plural. the Strata. Plural. I am... C- <laughs> these, these are plural. freaking stupid. Stupid. And, stupid uh, is the right oh, term for this knife. I want to play with one. I don't think I want to own one. But <laughs> it, like, it's, it's with, with everything that's Kersh- going. Oh. Kershaw put up a quick little teaser video on their Instagram page. I'm not sure if they did it up on their YouTube page as well. But they actually showed a picture of the Strata in hand. And, like, the small strata is, like, the uh, Crooked River sort of size. Yeah. At least. Yeah. It's, it's I'm a, not, it's not a little bigger. Yeah, the yeah. small, the small has a blade length of four and a half inches. Jeez. It's bigger. It's bigger, it's bigger than yeah. the Crooked River. It's yeah. like, uh, what, where is it? It's, it's bigger gonna, than a military. Like. I'm imagining it like the uh, Broken Skull, quite honestly. It's bigger, bigger than the broken skull. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's bigger. nuts. And then the, <laughs> the XL, small. yeah, for the small, I have to keep reiterating. <laughs> <For> the, <laughs> the large is an inch larger. It's five point four inches. Jeez, that's that's a big knife. It's a, it's an XL. Now I for those times me... where for those times where you're like, hey, Cold Steel just got bought. Yeah, let's buy a Kershaw instead. I, exactly. That's exactly where I was going with this. Like they, they're worried, about like, hey, maybe we can sneak in on this market now. But hey, they're at least doing it with D two blades. I, I'm going to keep saying it. I, I like seeing D two at this price point. And yeah, um, yeah. Uh, what with point the out when I angular pivot collar. Yeah, mm-hmm. pivot yeah, collars. Yeah. Pushing accent. that accent thing hard again. And is is there an over travel? Uh, nope. Yes. Yeah, there is. You oh, bet there, there is. is. On this it's one? it's built into the uh, it's the the over travel stop is the pivot collar. Yeah. 
Okay, what we're going to do here, you see, mm, is we're going to put the over travel stop, but then we can also get away with putting a cutout on the frame, just like Aww. they do on the spleen and the thing. No. But we're covering it up with an no. over truck. So, <laughs> Dennis, destroy. you're ruining it. <laughs> Two birds with one stone, motherfuckers. You're Two ruining birds. it. <laughs> oh, you're making me sad. You're I don't want to talk it. about this knife anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Next knife? Next I'm night. Telling, Kershaw's marketing compared to ZT's. There's no contest. Your shirt's smarter. <laughs> your cost saving materials is smarter. Next knife. Yeah. <laughs> like the analyst. Uh, I didn't even look at this. Why are they trying to be Tack Force? What what is this? What well, is this? That thing? really is Tack Force, isn't it? Sandra yeah, yeah. had some spare time and they're like, hey Kershaw, you want some shit? And Kershaw was drunk. You can put your name on this if like, you want. Hey, okay, we'll take some. Uh, okay, three and a quarter inch blade. Here's no, here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing is they've got rid of all their RJIs and their well, I don't know if the RJ tacticals. There's a it, there's a gap missing right now in the Kershaw oh so sweet kind of market. Mm. Uh, what's the price point on this thing? Uh, oh, it's so, not. It's getting up there. It's sixty nine. Yeah, which is what an oh so sweet would have gone for. So instead of offering people cups of tacticuli, they're just jamming the needle into their arm. Yes, <laughs> with a with a tanto needle that's half serrated. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so it's a tactical IV, huh? Does a uh, condor get yeah. to make those tips? Yeah, yeah. That, that's that the work? gap that they're filling without the RJI stuff. <laughs> Is it bad that I'm surprised that it has 8CR in it? <laughs> that, that is way nicer than I thought it was going well, to be. Well, no, because their their 3CR and their 4CR market is pushing the 8CR market up, just like a bug out does it for a Benchmade. The 3CR, oh, yeah. they can get away with 30 and $35 for knives that yeah. have 3CR and 4CR. Mm -hmm. So if you got 8CR... Just like your one inch neck knife has got to be thirty five dollars. Five more CRs. To be fair, though, I think you're. I think you're right. There totally is a market for this knife. I'm sure it'll sell very well for them. But it's Tonto and it's half serrated, and it's kind of got me alienated because of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next, next knife. knife. <laughs> oh, and glass filled nylon, not G10. I'm not sure if me or somebody. Of course, else said it is. No. Yeah. yeah, I think I probably said G10 oh. because I'm on that roll, but okay. I'm talking about Kershaw, do, so I should know better. Do we want to come back to these fixed blades to end it off on, or do you want to talk about them? Sure. Now? There's only a couple left, so let's skip right. those and go to the end. Yeah, yeah. All right, the tremolo. So what you're going to do here is you're going to put a pivot stop on the back end. Why? Because we said so. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> but they did it to both sides. Well, they did it halfway no, to both sides. Three sides. Yeah. One of them, you put a clip on. <laughs> yep. And same sort of thing as I'm spacing out on the name of it, but the one with the, 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 the bar of uh, steel through the, the carbon Z fiber. ZT990. Yeah. Yeah, right it's the same yeah. sort of thing of they put the holes for the pocket clip on the front side. They sure did. Over top of that accent, but then they didn't put that accent on the back side in any way. Like When you it, left hand carry this, it's going to be the ugliest looking knife in the world. It's mm -hmm. going to be gross. Yep. It's got three rib cages and it makes four. me... Four. But how many CRs does it have? Four. Wait. It gets CRs. four CRs. Um, so $35 so, knife you're saying. So move that top gear board over, that Benchmade Gold Class. Watch out. <laughs> the Tremolo's okay, coming for you. Yeah. Make some move. <laughs> <laughs> well, they really do call this. A, oh, okay. So they have what they're calling a starter series Kershaw. So I guess this is part of their focus is they're, they're deliberately coming out with starter knives. And they choose 4CR for that. Yeah. Could have gone well, with ACR. They want you to know what a bad steel is right off the hop. <laughs> so every knife you get in the future will be better. I Here. hate it. Next knife? Next knife. Next right. knife. Uh, oh, I'm actually oh. super excited about this one. All right, Joe. <laughs> I knew talk, talk away, my friend. Oh, God. Talk right. away. Without belaboring the point, it's a legal OTF, as far as I know. We got six minutes till break. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, once, okay. once... Not only is it a Canadian legal OTF, it's a Canadian legal dagger OTF for you, Joe. It's not double sided. But I can check it. Oh, fair enough. But... Yeah, yeah. You could easily <laughs> we'll, we'll make it double sided. We'll get there. We'll get there. And I will. Yeah, yeah. I will probably be buying multiples of this. Um, unfortunately, it's only 8CR, but I'll, I'll put up with 8CR for this. I think so. 
I might use it as a money clip. Like that thing's mm-hmm. it's it's small. It's like a two. It's a one point nine inch blade. So this is going to be legal in a ton of places too. Um, okay, and- Jared. Three o'clock bike racks. Three o'clock. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, second of all, on that note about the lefty versus righty conversation in the video, they talk about this being a right hand carry pocket clip. How do you goddamn know it's a right hand? It's a dagger that comes out the front. Yeah. The clip is it's... literally in the center of the knife. Okay. And it's symmetrical. It's not going to matter, but the leading edge is. It, it is facing down on the presentation side, so it, I, you could because of that. the one edge aspect. Yeah. It's so when I come out, I'm already there, I'm already <laughs> ready to go. I'm already there. Whatever you say, <laughs> Doug Marcada. Oh, so from boy. the looks of it, can you the, can you uh, attach the Emerson wave onto the button? Sorry, no. Nigel. <laughs> for shame. For shame. Anyway, uh, for the on. looks of it, with the hole in the backside of the slide there, that it's going to be, you have to depress the button to like get it out of that notch, and then yep. you can slide it. Yep. And that'll be like the same mechanism or the same locking aspect for front and backside. I it, think. Yeah, There's that'll uh, be lock for the front, and this, hopefully it'll be strong enough. No, that well, well th- this yeah. isn't this isn't a new uh, design by any means. Uh, Camillus did a knife very similar to this called the. The slider S L Y D R, um, big knife though comparatively speaking, like that it was mm-hmm. really big. Um, um, also under kind of evening, brother. Hey, Francis. Um, yeah. kind of under the same lines as even the Kershaw rip cord, yeah, but yeah. without the sheath that needed to open and close it. Right. So. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. It, it reminds me of box cutters, but it's something I'm more likely to carry. Yeah, exactly. one of the uh, like exacto blades that's super trendy right now. I would carry this with ATR. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know with a clip. I might just take the clip off and keychain this some bitch if it had a good enough detail yeah. that I'm not worried about the dagger yep. popping open. Yeah, yeah. I was actually planning on putting one of these on my keys. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I have a, I have a key bar, so that's awkward. But anyway, next night. <laughs> <laughs> next up, we've got oh. We got a scroll man. But, it, but it had a blue button. We didn't talk. Joe, quick, talk about the blue button for seven more. <laughs> hey, anyway, it's, guess what? it's got a button. That's blue. <laughs> next knife. <laughs> next knife. <laughs> the Terran. Um, I'm going to guess four CR. Eight CR. Uh, how, okay. many, oh. how many CRs? Oh, eight. it's an eight. There's eight. There's eight this, of them. Wow. This Actually, Terran looks like my 0055. They did patterns on both sides. <laughs> Dude, this I totally didn't even look at this knife, but it also has a bona fide blade with D2. By the way, it's very Kogera ish mm. from Benchman. You know, like all of those things are very similar. I don't hate the yeah. look of this knife, to be honest. No, mm-hmm. this one was a sleeper for me. I'm looking at it up close and I'm all of a sudden I'm like, this isn't the worst looking knife in the world. No. I like the blade by itself. And I like the handle by itself, but I'm not sure if I like the two of them together. You're correct. You're correct, sir. Uh-huh. The blade is more gentlemanly than the techno uh, mm-hmm. forest raincoat that... Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's almost like biomech meets... Almost. Geometric shapes. Yeah. I. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's that knife you had today, Paul? You're uh, the GTC? The double O fifty five. I kinda I kinda wanna see that sort of a weird tonto on this thing. Like it's already oh, a, this, this, yeah, that's what more, this handle would make more double O fifty five banged a fish fillet knife and this happened. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um if it were luck fish knife, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Um Jared saying everyone's can, riding can that twenty seventy seven hype train. And yeah, yeah that's sure, definitely sure. some cyberpunk shit. In a few of their models this year. Oh, it if the buck flinch. Dennis, you're coming through super choppy. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, never mind. It's all right. It was a good comment. Next night. <laughs> Next night. Well, I hope he can hear us. <laughs> it's the launch. Uh, sometimes living in Canada sucks. I like this thing. Yeah, the launch 13. That's a cool look. <laughs> Nigel would keep this off the top three, no problem. <laughs> uh-huh, for sure. That would get so many low scores. Like, that thing is hideous in my mind. 
Uh huh. It reminds me of the Yojimbo. It's disgusting, and I love it. Uh It's a Pleroma. It's an art piece. It's an Elijah Isham design. Is it actually? Uh, that is awesome. No, no, it's not. But, like it's all of those things when you have to look at this knife because that's the only way you can look at it sensibly. Yeah, man, like the weird dual oh, tone silly. on this thing. Uh, is it that weird that it's the blade that throws me off the most? Yes, I yeah. really yes. like the pivot. Yes, I thought it was a button. The triangular pivot that looks like a button, but then there's also a button is kind of cool. I'm I with like Paul it. on this one. Yeah. I dig this knife. Yeah. Um, but I love I that also, shirt. I can't have that knife. I yeah. think this is going to be a conversation piece for me. It's not going to be a hard user. It's going to be like the Pleroma. It's going to be bigger than a Pleroma, but it's still going to be like, uh, whoa, that's funky as shit. Just kind of, yeah. So I, I dig the blade. I agree with Dennis that I dig the uh, triangle collar, like I, or the triangle pivot. I like when companies do like funky pivots like that. But it's way too much of that. Um, I can only describe it as a Skeletor knife. I can't think of who did but, it. But that likes me more. That, that, that it was Elijah like it from Wee Knives, probably. Mm, like, yeah. Oh, I think that's yeah. the maker. Is it the uh, Megatron from uh, the Megatherium? Yes. Eric is. Oh, him. yeah, yeah. Like, it's in that category for me, and it's just awkward and ugly, and I don't like it. Sorry, you but, were saying a Russian one, Paul? Yeah, I was hmm. saying it kind of reminds me of the uh, what's that fucking? Not the Megatherium, sorry. CRK? No, CK. CKF, custom knife. Factory. Uh, custom yeah. knife factory. CKF. Custom yeah. knife yeah, factory yeah. makes one that has these cutouts and stuff, and it it I mean, reminds I think me. Of that's the one I'm thinking of. Yes. Yeah, Fair I enough. think it's the, the the Megatron or the Metatron or. Mm. It Ron reminds me Tron. of Decepticon for sure. Now, what's super disappointing? Look at the um, a pocket clip side. Now, I know it's ambidextrous, which I appreciate, but they didn't put the triangular clip on the lefty side. They put a round. The it's, pivot, it's hard yeah. to unscrew triangles. Pivot, sorry. You have to be able to unscrew one side. Paul's right on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Yep. Don't worry about it. You could have put a triangle with a circular screw that came out of it or you something. Can do like a little plate underneath. I'll give yes. you that. Yeah. 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 You know what is. You know what else is neat, though? This thing is a 3.5-inch blade. It's 2.4 ounces. That is really lightweight. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. I did not know those specs, but that's fantastic for that big of a knife. Yeah. But yes, Nigel, I, I can one. understand the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we got to go to break Actually, soon, so you're going to dabble on the... No, it's not. Uh, I just want to quickly shout out to Ricardo in chat. What's going on, man? Good day, brother. Karen is stage hey. 5, lightweight. <laughs> and nice. on that note, I would also like to point out that did we actually ask the audience what they're carrying tonight? Oh, probably um, not. No, probably not. Mr. Fisk. Oh, well, uh, next time. Out, <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> <Continue on. laughs> <That's not. laughs> All right. So two knives, two very strange sure. knives. Again, talking about stepping into cold steel space, uh, the inverse and the arise. Damn, Skippy. <laughs> they're poly I knives. Or not poly, sorry. They're uh, they're like FRN. So no, no. Here's the thing. The hell's the name of the material? deceiving, deceiving ah. polyphenylene. Polyphenylene, yes. yeah. For the blades and glass fiber. But on the oh. daggery kunai son of a bitch, it's a they're polypropylene doing, handle. They're doing that cold steel stuff again. They are. Yeah, yeah the yeah. nightshade sort of series. Yeah, it's totally a nightshade. I, Good for pokey when you need the pokey. And it very after, much reminds me after. Like <laughs> name um, drop Counter Strike Space Force map or something like that. Like it feels yeah. like something somebody's gonna pull out the the inver the inverse I, you mean or yeah. the arise. Either I will one. say I really like the uh, rise that kind of weird techno spaceship kunai thing. <laughs> yeah, I should kind of dig that. This should be a real knife. This I would be yeah, a real yeah. dagger. I would buy it. Yeah, like a like, set of throwers of that. I'd actually kind of be interested because they're just a fun, fun thrower. Are you talking yeah. about the the inverse for the throwers? The arise. Throwers? Isn't the arise the one with the uh, inset? The longer. No, that that's the inverse. No. The inverse is the kunai looking one. The arise is the Mark II dagger oh, okay. looking one. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, I, yes. like, I like both, so. But yes, the throwers <laughs> in an inverse. Mm -hmm. 
get rid of the kunai set that they have right now and make those throwers for sure. Yeah. The yeah. Arise, oh, cool. I would like to see this knife in an ATR or a D2, even better a D2. Yeah. But you could make this dagger in a D2 and charge $100 or $119 and people would fucking dig the shit out of this knife. Uh-huh. Yep. I- I'm glad you guys are on board with this because I really liked them when- upon first seeing them, but I didn't say anything because they're ridiculous. <laughs> they are ridiculous, even- but I-, I still want them. I'm not even a dagger guy, but that arise in a D2 or blah, blah, blah. I'm a little bit of a dagger guy. That- I'm not as much <laughs> dagger guys as the rest of you some bitches, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That that weird double tanto thing though, it just it just tickles. Yeah. It, it's oh. so oh, I like it. I, yeah, I yeah. don't dig it as much as the kunais. Well, the, yeah, the kunais That's are fair. cool, That's but fair. yeah. But you're right, and and like you were saying, it's deceiving because they like say poly, so your brain automatically thinks polypropylene, but they're poly. What was it? Phenylene. 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 You know? Yeah. Polyphenylene poly sulfide plastic. Phenylene. And okay, so it's weird. They actually go out of the way to say polyphenylene sulfide plastic and glass and fiber glass fiber combo yeah right so they pen- sure do so i guess polyphenylene isn't normally filled with glass fiber but they've decided to do that for this particular uh use case who and those so... kunais are 0.4 of an ounce wow not to dabble on weight but they are like i will stab you and you won't even feel They're it chunky. because it's yeah. so light it doesn't have to do with cutting it's just 0.4. so light you won't even feel it dude the blade okay so, but keep in mind the blade is five millimeters thick that's almost 0. 0.2 inches thick it's a geez. two point inch 2.8 inch blade length Th- those are chunky and they're a they're 0. 0.4 ounces that's insane yeah, that's crazy that's crazy yeah. the rise by comparison is two ounces i'm assuming that handle is just solid uh polyphenylene so mm-hmm. so i was anyway, curious about anyway. the polyphenylene yeah. And apparently it's a thermoplastic that's chemically resistant and mechanically strong, even at uh, almost 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So, it's, Oh, excellent. That, I need that. <laughs> it's the FX series from Cold Steel. That's what they yeah. mean. Next that's break. Cool. Next break. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it has become that time again. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yep. And that rounded up the, the Kershaw. We did a pretty damn good job of that. Next yeah, yeah. Did quite nicely. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Going to make sure that everyone in chat here watching live, as well as all those watching in the future for when this gets reposted, make sure you like and subscribe, or else you will be cursed that anytime there's a group of cute, whoever you're attracted to, opposite sex, same sex, whichever, we don't care. But if there's someone, a group of cute people around that you're attracted to, you will trip over nothing. And then you will be confused like a and embarrassed. Fool. And stunned. Like and subscribe. I'm liking and subscribing right now. <laughs> you didn't already. <laughs> I had liked before, he's gotta be, but I did not. He's gotta be threatened yeah. into it. What you didn't you subscribed? You didn't like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I've been subscribed yeah. for like a week or so, you know. Apparently we gotta go give Paul shit. <laughs> that being that. We shall return shortly. Go off and empty your bladders and refill your drinks, and we shall return soon. We don't 